Stuart K. Riley here counting down the top five worst Metal Gear games. And here's number two, Metal Gear Acid. Number two is right. This game is Metal Gear ass shit. As opposed to shit that doesn't come from an ass. I don't know. Oh my freaking god, this game is terrible. Oh, you've never heard of Metal Gear Acid? Ah, uh, it doesn't surprise me. You want to know what's so horrible about this game? You don't play it like a normal Metal Gear game. In fact, it's not a normal Metal Gear game. Metal Gear Acid is a turn-based card game. I, 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 uh... Why? Who came up with this? Who looked at Metal Gear and said card game? It doesn't seem to have all that much to do with Metal Gear itself. Yeah, you got Solid Snake. Yeah, the cards are all MGS references, but how do you turn a stealth game into a card game? Well, this is how. So you move in a grid and you can use the cards to make you move wherever you want or use the action the card is able to do. Like to shoot, you use a gun card and there's one for grenades, claymore mines, etc. They do the same thing for rations too. The cards can also change how much damage you do or how high the percentage is or whether you can dodge attacks, blah, blah, blah. And of course, through all this, you need to not be seen by the guards or they will start an alert and start kicking your ass. And I am I'm not a fan of how the alert phase works in this game. It goes down a little bit every enemy turn, and when I say a little bit, I mean not very much at all. And it still has to go through evasion and caution as well, so you might spend a good few minutes of your playtime stuck in alert. And you don't have a radar or anything to show their field of vision, so you just have to assume whether or not you're too close. But don't worry, you'll find out right quick if you are. And let's talk about the cards themselves. You can build a deck or have the game build one for you and it gives you cards at random from that deck so if you're needing a certain card you might have to discard cards until you get the one you want and by then the guards you were planning to kill have done move somewhere or already found you jeez man i think on top of everything the worst sin this game commits is being boring as shit it's a bunch of turn-based moving from one place to another waiting on turns trying to get the cards you want and somehow getting into alert and getting your ass kicked honestly if you get an alert, you should just reset the level. It may be faster to go through. It just seems like the same shit over and over, and it never really feels exciting and engaging. I was really hoping a turn-based game with guns would be more exciting and fun because Wasteland 3 is one of my favorite games ever, and it's a turn-based RPG-style game where you move your characters around, take cover, manage inventories, and shoot guns. Acid is just, man, I, I, I don't know. I'm just not into it. It's too damn difficult. It seems like everything you do takes forever, and unlike Colonel Vogan, I am not a patient man. I want my fun now. I haven't even gotten into the damn story yet. This is another one with no voice acting, and the cutscenes are set up like a damn visual novel. For fuck's sake, if I wanted a visual novel, I'd play Sex and the Furry Titty. There's hardly any Metal Gear characters in this game other than Solid Snake. Roy Campbell is mentioned like one time, as far as I know. Apparently, some mercenary group has taken over some facility. There's a plane filled with nerve gas that's been hijacked by two creepy ass dolls. Also a senator is on board. Where's the damn Metal Gears at? Where's the nano machines? Where's Rex and Ray? Where's Otacon pissing his pants? And does anyone get Fox die? I don't know, but if there is any of that stuff, I didn't play far enough to see it. You know what this game feels like? It feels like one of those games that was a completely different game at one time, and they just slapped Metal Gear on the top of it. Who was this game even for? I don't know a single person that's ever said, you know, Metal Gear Solid's good, but you know what it needs? Turn-based card games. I really don't know what else there is to say about it honestly i played it for a couple hours and i think in those couple hours i've already seen everything the game is going to give me except maybe a few more cards this game sucks my solid snake i hate to sound like avgn but i do in every video so whatever but i'd rather have big boss stick his stun rod up my ass than play this game and that's all there is to it and that's all there is to say it just sucks one more thing though, would you believe there's a Metal Gear Acid 2? Yeah, the first one was such a damn great concept, why not do it again? Well, I'll tell you right now, you'd have to suck my dick while I eat a whole pizza before I would agree to play that shit. No, sir. No, thank you. And with that, that's number two. What is the number one worst Metal Gear game of all time? Well, here's the deal. I'm sure you've already made up your mind what it is, and yeah, that would be the obvious answer. But what if I told you 
It's not survive. What if I said that survive is such an inexcusable abomination to the good name of Metal Gear that I won't even let it set foot in my videos? It doesn't count. It's less than a video game. It's less than dirt. So Metal Gear Survive doesn't even get a number on this countdown. Also, I wasn't about to pay $60 for it, and you can't pirate it because it's an online-only game, so fuck that. Not even worth reviewing. Not on this show. But what could number one be, then? If Survive doesn't count, then what the hell is the worst Metal Gear game ever? I want you boys to tell me in the comments what you think it is. I will be highly surprised if anyone gets it right. But stranger things have happened. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Last video is number one. I'll see you kids there. Good night.